विजन ऑफ एशिया वॉइस कम्युनिटी कार्यक्रम में फिर एक बार आपका स्वागत करते हुए हम आपको लिए चल रहे हैं हिंदू टेंपल के उस सभागार में जिसे पार्वती हॉल के नाम से जाना जाता है और मोहन जी का नाम कई देशों में फिलेंथ्रोपिस्ट और ह्यूमैनिटेरियन के रूप में न केवल पहुंच गया है बल्कि उनसे प्रेरणा लेकर अपने जीवन को और संतुलित और शांत बनाने की दिशा में कई युवा सक्रिय हो गए हैं जो बहुत सारे सेवा प्रकल्पों के साथ भी जुड़े हैं मोहन जी फाउंडेशन के अलावा कई ऐसे संगठन हैं जिसमें महिलाएं बच्चे सृजनशीलता की अभिव्यक्ति के लिए एक विशिष्ट मंच पा रहे हैं मोहन जी एक लेखक के रूप में भी अपनी ख्याति बना रहे हैं उनके साथ न्यूयॉर्क में हुए इस पहले कार्यक्रम में प्रश्नोत्तरी के स्वरूप में मुझे ये प्रश्न पूछने का अवसर मिला कि द कश्मीरी फाइल्स देखने के बाद नॉन वायलेंट बने रहने की दिशा में कैसे बना रहा जा सकता है और मोहन जी ने इसका उत्तर देने के साथ साथ अमेरिका में मोहन जी की फाउंडेशन द्वारा जो दो विशिष्ट पुरस्कार दिए उनमें एक नाम आपका परिचित है तो आइए देखते हैं एक रिपोर्ट इस कार्यक्रम पर नमामि तम विनायक नमामि तम विनायक नमामि तम विनायक नमामि तम विनायक न ते तराति भीकर न बोधितार्क भास्वर न मत्सुरारी निर्जर न ताधिका पदोद्धर सुरेश्वर निधीश्वर गजेश्वर गणेश्वर महेश्वर तमाशय परात्पर निरंतर नमामि तम विनायक नमामि तम विनायक नमामि तम विनायक नमामि तम विनायक expressions uh, and based on what you see in the film as well as some other news you feel that they they are not just saying for the sake of saying there is a potential lurking uh, seeping threat uh, which may explode anywhere and it so now uh, would you recommend being non violent even in that case uh, and having no reaction or how should you Uh, uh, just concluding by saying, after you walked uh, uh, out of the theater, having seen the Kashmir files, what was going on in your mind? And my uh, genuine uh, concern about how to respond. Thank you. Uh, coming to your question, um, we when we believe in something which is positive and which is benevolent in the world, and we are sure this will not bring forth wars, bloodshed. displacements agony or uh, any kind of things which are of negative by nature it's our responsibility to stand up for it we must and also we should never be afraid i don't believe in fighting but i believe in talking the right thing at the right place and world listens to authentic things definitely <coughs> sorry so uh, in in um, when see there are 8 billion people out there 8 billion people are growing people are growing so many people out there and uh, the earth cannot handle so many people and all these people are oriented to some kind of system some practices some belief systems etc this is all fine but the human law the social law should be in such a such a way that nobody is higher or nobody is lower equality must happen so a system like united nations or people, there should be a, a monitoring body which ensures that everybody is safe on earth survey on to sukina all the that kind of our whatever vedas have said brilliant stuff 
Loka, Samastha, Sukhilo, Bhavatu, we always said everybody be happy and peaceful. Not only people, when we kill a lot of animals, uh, when we torture animals in the laboratories, etc., the vibration that's going out into this world is of war. Same thing, torture, suffering, victimization, victimhood, all these things bring forth that effect in the world. So we have to fundamentally make some shifts. So many things are legal, but they are not ethical. My morality is very simple, ahimsa. Non-violence is my morality. But at the same time, being practical is very important. You've got to be very practical. Ahimsa does not mean you are a doormat. It's the responsibility of us to maintain this thing in the world. We cannot say, oh, I, I, I have nothing to do with it. I, I am a spiritual person. I, I will stay away from it. Not like that. Everybody are responsible. If you are holding the passport of a country, you should be responsible for that country. The well-being of the people of the country, the harmonious existence of the country, where every type of people have a, an expression. See, two aspects of human existence. One is experience, other is expression. So expression is, is suffocated. Naturally, the society is contaminated. There will be bad frequencies in the, in the, in the, in the world. So, uh, it, no level of torture should be accepted, whether it is politics, whether it is religion, whether it is anything. You can, be, everybody are free to follow the religion, provided it doesn't harm anybody else. No bird, no animal, no people are harmed because I follow something. And I don't believe that I can uh, kill somebody because I don't believe in that person's belief. Not, not true. So you can't do that. that. That's all barbarian. We cannot even accept that. Anything which is Amounting to bloodshed is barbaric. We can never accept that. Displacement is unnatural. Like I like to live in my house. I don't. Why should I move to another person's house in another country or another situation? Displacement. Wars are created, forcing it to happen. It's unnatural. So so many things are maybe accepted legally, but they are completely unethical. We have to call a spade a spade at the right time, at the right place. This is important. And, and of course, uh, journalistic people like you have a great role in it. The, the, when the voice of the uh, silent are heard, it sometimes shakes people. Um, so one of the key tenets of Modi's teaching is to add value to the world. He always says we must give back to Mother Earth more than we take from her. He encourages us to, be, to contribute and to serve the communities to bring about harmony and peace amongst all beings. To recognize and honor people who have made significant contribution to the communities through their visionary leadership, Mohanji Foundation will present the award of appreciation to two outstanding citizens. One of them is here today, one of them could not be here. We are grateful that Mohanji is here to present the awards. The first one is Dr. Gangadhar Rao Chalasani. Uh, some of you might know him already. He's a founder of the Om Sai Mandir, which is just now the corner. Uh, professionally, Dr. Rao has worked as a medical doctor. He specialized in, as a radiologist in nuclear medicine and has worked at some of the world's most prestigious hospitals. Since the 90s, he's dedicated his time in the service of Sai Baba and has carried, has carried on his mission um, since then. In 2003, Dr. Chalasani and his wife founded the Om Sai Mandir, the world's first temple dedicated to both Shirdi Sai Baba and Satya Sai Baba. Om Sai Mandir runs in, is, is run entirely by Dr. Rao and his team of volunteers. The temple is open seven days a week, 365 days a year, and follows the teachings and prayer schedules of both Shirdi Sai Baba and Satya Sai Baba. His humility and selfless service have inspired many, and we are deeply grateful uh, for his contribution. So we do have a certificate of an award that we will present to him. Um, uh, he was not able to come today, but we will present to him as mentioned. The second one is uh, Mr. Ashok Vyas. Uh, he is a program director at ITV. He joined in uh, 1998. He began his career in the All India Radio in Jodhpur <coughs> way back in 1982. He's produced, participated, wrote thousands of programs, including plays, features, uh, talk shows, shows for kids, shows for women, Gandhi Charcha based on Mahatma Gandhi's literature, Vivek Vani based on Swami Vivekananda's literature, wrote and presented every day for a year stories for kids in a show called Lo Bancho Ki Suno Kahani. Uh, with Shogun Television, Mumbai, he was also a freelance writer and translator in Mumbai. 
Please translate episodes of Batman and several other American shows for your TV. I did not know this. Um, his interview uh, based to, uh, he's, he's got two signature programs. One is called The Wide Angle with Ashok Vyas, is shown twice a week. And the other one is called The uh, Inside Tonight with Ashok Vyas, is also aired on prime time in ITV. Producer, he's produced several devotional shows uh, on Shirdi Sai. He's a founder of YouTube channel, Hiramba Studio, produced over 351 episodes of Bhagavad Gita and several interviews focused on mental well-being and spiritual awareness. Media campaigns for several print and other social media. He's also a Bharat Gaurav Awardee. Um, so in sum, uh, summary, he's an interviewer, he's a writer, he's a poet, he's a video cameraman. As you can see, he's been in action since the beginning of the program. He's the editor. He's also a Hindu priest and an excellent speaker. So thank you very, very much, Ashok Vyasji.